what we have are three brains of individuals who all played football. This is a player that died in his late 40s. He only played high school football. This is a, a suicide. And this is a player who died in his 80s, having played many years of professional football. And this is another professional football player, 14 or 15 years of professional NFL football. When we look at the brain of a man in his late 40s, you can see that there are crevices between the gyri, and those should normally not be there. When we look at the brain of this professional player, looks to be some thinning of, of this hypothalamic area. And then when we look at this case, in the medial temporal lobes, there's a lot of atrophy, and you can see a marked thinning of the hypothalamus. It's ballooned and thinned. And that's another feature of chronic traumatic encephalopathy. We're going to make a section right through this brain and see if we can see any changes interiorly. It's just not good. Accounting for the splaying of the brain, this third ventricle is huge. So are the lateral ventricles. The corpus callosum is thinned. and. Notably, the septum is just a series of filaments. You can just see some thread-like appendages hanging from uh, the surface of the corpus callosum. The other features of this brain are this tannish ribbon on the outside of the brain with very prominent small blood vessels. That's not a normal finding. So we can't make the diagnosis of CTE looking at the brain with our naked eye. We can only do it underneath the microscope. When we see this kind of change grossly, it almost always indicates end-stage CTE.